Welcome to Shook Tales. So I get to the house. It's nice. Whatever. He opens the door, and I'm flabbergasted because he has these huge white porcelain veneers in his mouth. They could eat him before anything else did. But I remain calm, so I go inside, we begin to chat a bit, and automatically he has a super condescending tone, but he takes care of the donation. Okay, cool. So I can tell he's been up all night, he's definitely on autopilot, and he continues to spew his baseless, unhinged rhetoric. And so, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. So eventually, because I, I have to see it through, my boy. I've already been paid. So we proceed, you know, to the bedroom. I start doing my usual back massage thing. And, you know, we proceed with the session. And he didn't blink once, so he definitely needs to go to sleep. You need, need to take a nap, sir. So, you know, we proceed with the session. And, you know, I start gathering my items, gathering my things. And he proceeds to tell me, you know, we all get old one day. You might want to find something else to do with your life. And so, you know, I'm like, well, you know what? What does your wife do? And he's like, oh, I don't have a wife. I'm like, oh, okay. What does your girlfriend do? He's like, oh, I, I don't have one. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And so I leave. Because my biggest fear is an old age. It's becoming old and living in a huge mansion. When I walk around, you can hear my footsteps as a reminder that nobody's there. It's being so unfathomably unpleasant that you have to pay someone for their time. And even that person is counting down the moment, the minute that they are able to leave. It's spotting on my beard, so that way I have to spray paint it on and outline it with chalk. Because I can't, I can't accept the fact that I'm starting to age. That, now that's something to be fearful of. I will not be returning. Definitely not to Mr. Seabiscuit, sir. That's all I have for this trick tales. Don't forget that there's new merch available in the bio.